Greetings and welcome to PJ's Kitchen. My name is Peter James from PeterJamesX.com with the Babylon Report. Today we are looking at the subject of Satan's servants, the devil's disciples. If the head is sick, then the whole body is sick. Isaiah 1 4, right down to verse 7, this is what it says Isaiah 1 4. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evil doers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, they are gone away backward. Why should you be stricken any more? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Your country is desolate, your cities are burned with fire, your land strangers devour it in your presence, and it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. When we say that someone is sick in the head, what do we mean? We mean that they do not have a sound mind. Where does a sound mind come from? It is a gift from the eternal God. If you are not serving the eternal God, can you have a sound mind? The answer must surely be no. If you are not serving the eternal God, then the only other choice is that you are serving our adversary, Satan the devil, the God of this world. What are the hallmarks of those serving Satan? They are lies and murder. We have quoted this so many times. John 8 44 You are of your father the devil and the lusts of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and the father of it. So we can see that this is what we ha have to expect from our overlords regardless of their area of operation. We're saying if the head is sick the whole body is sick. This is what Prince Philip, who is a Freemason, said in August 98. In the event that I am reincarnated, I would like to return as a deadly virus in order to contribute something to solve overpopulation. And Kissinger, Henry Kissinger, on US troops. Military men are just dumb, stupid animals to be used as pawns in foreign policy. That was quoted and kissed the boys goodbye. So that's what the leaders think of us. Those are the comments there, but their actions today show you that nothing has really changed. You know, they're prepared to sacrifice their own, much less their enemies. And this is not any problem at all to our leaders. They do it all the time. They sacrificed people in 9-11, Pearl Harbor, Iraq, Afghanistan, just to name a few. In 1967, 40 years ago, June 8th, the, U the prime U.S. spy ship, U.S. Liberty, was attacked by Israeli aircraft for something like an hour and a half, something like that. They killed, how many people did they kill? They killed about 39 people 
injured 160, something like that. The ship was bombed continuously. It requested assistance from nearby aircraft carriers. No assistance came. The ship was flying the US flag. For 40 years, none of the sailors on the ship were allowed to speak about this incident under pain of death. Cavalry did not turn up, just as it didn't turn up in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans. The promises were just that. To be a biochemist is a dangerous occupation, especially if you want, you're one who speaks the truth, like Kelly did. These professionals seem prone to suicide even sometimes by shooting themselves twice in the head. Very thick people die from heart attacks. We've got a, a link to a video where a young man in his early 20s, the son I, th I think he was of a fireman who perished in 9-11, decided he was going to get at the truth. Very, very soon he had died of a heart attack. Robin Cook identified I think he was the Foreign Secretary in Britain. He identified what Al-Qaeda really was. Very shortly afterwards, he died from a heart attack while he was walking in the mountains up in Scotland. He was also a fit person. The war on terror, or rather the war of terror, is a scam which is designed to keep us in perpetual fear. And we have been told that it will go on indefinitely. An offshoot of this is now that we think, and many, many people say, it is okay to torture others if it will ultimately protect us. The Pope is either regarded as, or is certainly vigorously being promoted by Christianity as God's top man, not just on the earth, but over it. History shows us quite clearly that if you do not agree and go along with the Roman Catholic Church, they're quite happy to kill you. See the Inquisition and any war, or any atrocity as a matter of fact, because the Revelation says you will find the blood of all who have been killed in Babylon. We are speaking here of systems and not individual Roman Catholics. I was a Roman Catholic in my young days and many of my friends, my dear friends, are still Roman Catholics. Does the false church lie? Well, you can see our documents, we keep talking about it, Synagogue of Satan and you live in Babylon. We have stated they're, they're, they're behind the lie of Sunday, Easter, Christmas, Our Lady, Our Lady of countless places, the Confession, the Mass, we have documents on all of these things, indulgences, saints, child baptism, purgatory, limbo, they are now dropping limbo, but what happens to the millions of souls that are supposed, what were supposed to be there, and the countless millions of dollars that were given to buy them out, of that place of torment. No one knows.